Karen, you're so busy. Look yeah. at you, always on your phone. I remember the first time we met, we were uh -huh. at Shake Shack. You know what's crazy? You brought that up. I didn't even remember. I'm like, oh my, that was so long that ago. That was long ago. And yes. you were, of course, busy running around. Yeah. And as we all are. But to see your success yes. and to see your journey and to see everything that you wanted to come to life is mm -hmm. really exciting. And, you know, of course, we're rooting for you because, yes. you know, you're really out here making it happen. Yes. But let's talk about it. Mm -hmm. Lots of people think they're bosses out here. Yeah. But they're not. <laughs> and that's all right, though. Yeah. You really are. Yeah. And now you have this brand new show on Complex. Yes. I'm so excited Wait, about it. What? Let's rewind. Mm -hmm. Let's take a moment again. Mm -hmm. We really have to appreciate the moments of success that, you know, we all have mm -hmm. and celebrate that. Mm -hmm. But you have a show. Yes. And um, this is exciting. Yes. It's good looking out. And it's it, it just matches and encompasses everything that I'm doing just about entrepreneurship. I said 2018, I marked it as year of the partnership. Mm -hmm. So being able to come in and and work with a company like Complex, which I love. I love Mark Echo. I got to work with him early on on his book. Um, then I did something with Complex a, like about a year or a year and a half ago through their Complex Hustle. And the producer, Cameron, was like, you know, Cameron, um, I really appreciate you. You're great. We stayed in contact. And he reached out to me a couple months ago. He said, I have this show um, called Good Looking Out. I think, you know, it's like a Shark Tank S for young millennials. I think it'll be great and right up your alley. Made it work. So I'm just I'm just so happy to be part of the Complex family, um, to have something like this. Because, again, I stable 2018 is like year the partnership. So being able to do something like this with Complex and helping the next entrepreneurs and just watching the people come in, they're like, oh, I didn't know this person was going to be here. Like the right. Kevin Lyles episode, the guy was like, oh, he was just like so nervous and everything and just telling his story from the entrepreneurs who were there before that with um, um, with they have this company called Pedal, and they walked mm -hmm. in. They was like, "Oh snap, Gary V! Oh my gosh, Ryan it's Leslie!" Really cool, by yeah, the way. It's so really cool. they're 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 very, they're very very excited. We already taped the first season, which is six episodes. So it comes every Wednesday, eleven a.m. on Complex. So yeah, this is exciting. Yes. Okay, so for someone who hasn't watched it yet, mm -hmm. what actually happens? People come in, they ask for tips, mm -hmm. advice, and do they, you know, get to have you on their speed dial? What else do they get? Okay, so what happens is Complex and I put up this casting. Like, hey, if you're an entrepreneur, whatever right. the case may be, we didn't tell you what it was for. You pitch us, you tell us what your story is about. They don't know what they're walking into, <laughs> but you know you have to be prepared because this right. is how the world works. So you just know you have to always, we're just pushing always be prepared because you don't right. know what's around the corner. So they literally walk into the office, they see me, they see whoever the guest is. So it's making sure the guest is somebody who is experienced in that field um who can really help them maybe take it to the next level or whatever the case may be so when they walk in you really like when you're seeing that first reaction that's 100 percent real because they didn't know who was going to be there they didn't know what was happening we keep them in set right they, they had no idea room. they have no idea and they get excited so you know of course we have like the lights and everything there so it's like don't get distracted by the lights right. don't get distracted by the person in front of you they're like yo yo like the right. first episode, so they were like oh snap Gary V, Ryan Leslie, I listen to this you in crazy. school. And, and I'm like, okay, tell me about your pitch now. Yeah, but get to it. Yeah, but, you know, I don't ever want the to guess to feel like they have to do something, whatever. But, you know, Ryan was like, oh, I mean, he he connected with uh, the two entrepreneurs from, from Pedals. Like, oh, I want to figure out how I can help. I think Gary V took one of the ladies, uh, <clears throat> the young lady from Pedal. <laughs> he was going to do some mentorship with her. And, you know, depending if maybe if the gentleman... If Kevin would have liked the gentleman, you never know. He could have signed him. So right. it's just, it's opportunity is there. How yeah. important is opportunity? When you, whenever mm -hmm. I'm sure you get bombarded with questions of how do I become like yeah. you? How did you start? Yeah. And then you think of the word opportunity. Yeah. And even if you don't see the opportunity, even if you don't think there's an opportunity, uh, mm -hmm. there's an opportunity, there is always yeah. an opportunity. So out of your experience, how important is for for it, for people to recognize opportunity. Uh, that's the whole basis of the show. We're giving you a chance to use this platform, to explain yourself, to let the viewer see who you are, you know, really just utilize this platform and just grow your audience. And that's just the whole basis, again, of of, of the show and which I'm really excited about. Because so many people are like, 
I want you to help me. I want you to help me. I'm of like, okay, course. I'm helping. <clears throat> now right. it's now it's your turn to help yourself. So I'm giving you the opportunity. Yeah. Has it been frustrating when you have helped people and they don't listen? And then they come back again like, yo, so do you think you could help me again? Yeah, I'm like, oh, but I just I told like, you. I extended the olive branch. Yeah. I tried to help you. I gave you the blueprint. Yes, like it's very frustrating, but I do have to remember everybody doesn't paint like Picasso. Everybody right. doesn't do the things the same and everyone's not going to follow your blueprint. They want to do it their way. I can give, offer advice mm -hmm. and say, this is what I did. Maybe it'll work for you. But again, everybody's going to follow their own course you know as as much as i want to there's certain people who do listen which i'm grateful for it's like sure. hey maybe you should do this i always offer advice to like my friends who are other entrepreneurs we give each other advice it's so beautiful. that's that's really the growing thing is like where sometimes we may be lacking in somebody will come and be like oh maybe you should do this you should add this you should look do xyz and blah 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 to help us make sure we're strengthening ourselves in so many different areas mm -hmm. but there are those friends mm -hmm. who are like Oh, wait, could you think you could help me again? No, no. no. <laughs> Time is money. Yeah, like I like I tried. It's just once like I, I don't have the energy to do it again. And it's just like, hey, I, you know, I did what I was supposed to do as a friend and human being. But I just have to move on. For a lot of people, they might not know exactly what Karen Civil does, but mm -hmm. they know they see her name everywhere. Clothing, media. We know she's worked with Wayne. We know she worked with Flex here at yeah. Hot 97. How would you describe your title other than being a boss and an entrepreneur? Like, what would you say to someone? This is my specialty. And you know what? Nobody's really better than me in this. Um, I just look at myself as a creator. Now I just mm. live in that space. It's from creating um, content, mm. digital media, partnerships, relationships, so many different things. I'm just, I'm just a creator. Right. And I never necessarily tell people like, because they're just so used to these certain titles, like, right. oh, this person's a teacher, sure. or a doctor, or this and that. <clears throat> and when I'm like, yeah, I'm a CEO, an entrepreneur, and they're like, what? I'm like, why is it when it comes to a woman of color, we oh. can't, they just can't accept that from us. Never. They're like, so what does that, uh, an entrepreneur, I'm like, but if uh, like Tom walked in of here. Of course, and Tom's a boss. Yeah, but for us, it's like, we have to add all this stuff and explain and go into detail. But yeah, no, I tell people, I'm like, I'm a creator and I never want to put myself in a box. Right. And I think um, with, you know, influencers and people who are coming up, they just think, oh, if you're you're urban, how are you moving in this space? How are you right. moving over here? I'm like, no, I'm I'm creating. I'm help, helping cultivate and doing other things. That's why it's like because I haven't pigeonholed myself with a title right. or just what people think, assume I should be doing. I was able to work with like Hillary Clinton, right. do things with like Louis Vuitton and right. Tiffany and stuff like that. So it's just it's just continuing to grow into spaces people normally, I guess, wouldn't see us. Right. Of yeah. Are you Come on. <laughs> oh, that's a whole different discussion and a rant that we could go on and on about. That's and true. right. I mean, really. Yeah. And I, I'm. I'm happy that of how you are holding yourself yeah. to this. I'm a creator. Yeah. So it could be any category you want. Yeah. You're guaranteed to create. Yeah. All you have to do is create that vision and you can make it happen. Yeah. Which, you know, did you think that this could be a profession when you were first coming up and before you are who you are now? No, I just know, <laughs> like, I was a girl from Elizabeth, New Jersey. Right. Who was on the internet because I found... I found a connection to people who just happened to like things in common as me. And it was a hobby, but it was for me to figure out how do I turn this hobby into a career? Mm -hmm. It took some time, but because I wasn't so focused on what are you calling this? What's the title? I was just focused on creating right. and doing something that it just, I created my own blueprint and it just worked for me from there. I, I would agree. Yeah. I would say I haven't, I mean, there were, I thought there were a couple that were my, yeah creators yeah but they didn't last yeah and i think they just it it just wasn't the same yeah you know and i think with you the way you create is different i think you really try to um I'm thinking immerse long, yourself right. longevity too right. like my 2000 like now i'm like I already have things, we're having this conversation now, but I have like a 2019 right. plan, companies I'm working with, things I'm partnering with that I haven't discussed. Like, I'm like, wait a minute, how you do that? I'm like, we got to stop thinking of ourselves in this no, box and thinking right. like, oh, I have to do this for the right now. I'm, I'm thinking about my future and elevating and what's next and what's happening.
Yeah. I think that's so important. Yeah. You know, the con- like you said, the conversation we're having now is just, oh, this is sure, but yeah. you're already so far advanced in your calendars. Yeah. And that's so important, man. Yeah. And I think a consistency, yeah. people forget that. It, it's all about being consistent. And, and understanding it's like I'm running my race. Right. I'm not running society's race. I'm not running social media's race. I'm not running your race. Right. You know, and, and now we're in this day and age where it's just we see success coming quicker to, quicker right. for others. We're seeing people make money quicker and everything else. So you're thinking, oh, my gosh, I have to hurry where up, hurry up, hurry this? up. Yeah. Right. So I just know whatever's for me, God will never miss. Mm. And just my business and everything, I just think longevity. I'm not thinking about, okay, Karen, well, this person's popular than you at the moment. I'm like, I don't. But okay. you're not doing it for yeah. popularity. Yeah, you're I'm just doing so it for purpose. Ha- right. Like I'm chasing purpose now as opposed to um, a dollar. Because mm. for so long I was doing that where it's just like I thought – my expectation and just um, success was a dollar amount in my account. If I mm. drove a certain car and then after you get all these things, you attain them, you're like, okay, why am I still not happy? Why am I still mm. sad? Because there's no purpose. There's no any, there's nothing behind it. So it's like things like good looking out my Live civil Academy right. and just creating something that's bigger than myself is, is really what's, what's keeping me going. And I, I never had a chance to thank you in person. I mm-hmm. did like, social media Mm -hmm. but i remember when you sent me a live civil package and Mm -hmm. i really appreciated that because especially at that time you know when i was on a come up in Mm -hmm. tv world you know free clothes really helps (laughs) you know what i'm saying like for real for real and you sent a package and i remember that and i just remember thinking how much i really appreciated that because you know it's not like i'm beyonce i'm nobody to a lot of people and that's cool yeah. But I was somebody to somebody yeah. else. And that meant a lot to me. Yeah. So I wanted to thank you for oh, that. Because no I'll never forget that. Because, you know, you just, you remember yeah. who was kind to you yeah. along the way. It's just that mind frame of thinking. Like, when I do things, um, I heard Issa Rae say this. And, and it's something that I live by, too. It's like, I like to connect this way. Everyone wants to just connect up. Like, oh, I have to send it to XYZ, only this. Or they'd be like, oh, just send it to Flex. I'm like, no, what about this person? This right about that. I see them. Right. It's so It's okay to acknowledge and be like, hey, Nessa, I see you. I sure. acknowledge you. Yes. I love what you're doing. Me giving you a compliment doesn't take away from me. Right. So that's the place I'm in where it's just like, I just always extend that. Like, hey, I know I don't know you, but, you know, I'm a big fan. I'm okay right. with saying that. Like, I'm excited for your growth. It, it doesn't have to do anything with me. I'm a fan. I appreciate you. And just, and just doing that. It's just connecting sideways how yeah. do you stay so positive when people come at you you know we, um, we've seen yeah we um, don't have to relive them but we've seen a couple of those situations play out and I felt like you really handled yourself with grace yeah because because it's just it's on a smaller spectrum like people think it's really big but when you're like I'm out here working with Hillary Clinton right. I'm working with very large brands this noise doesn't exist it only exists on this small right. surface or thing and I have like I, I never want to pretend my life is perfect is far from it but just because I don't bring it to the timeline I don't bring my drama and everything else it's just I have therapy I have great friends and I just remember like it doesn't really affect my overall goal mm. it doesn't stop me no business stops you know I still keep my relationships and it's just the people who know me know like they know my intent know my heart and just like oh no this is not real this is this is just conversation, just like... It just, is what it is. Yeah, it is. It's like everything doesn't... To me, everything doesn't deserve a response, mm. you know? So... That's tough. You better yeah. than me. <laughs> no, I know. For a little bit, you was holding that clapback queen L- um, listen. title. <laughs> yeah. You was and holding... You know what? And you held me down. I saw... You know, yeah. we know. We know what's yeah. happening. And I just... Oh, you're better than me. It's no, sometimes. just... It's, it's sometimes I do... I do have to... I have to like, yeah, fall like fall back. Sometimes it don't even have to do with me. Like it just be right. something it else. Be yeah, some, it could be some something that's not even related to you. And yeah, yeah, I feel like that so many times. I'd be like, damn, I wish I knew them. But yeah, what the what? Yeah. And you don't want to, cause then you don't want to involve yourself on mm. social media, cause that's messy. Yeah, right. Cause then it's like, yo, why are you jumping in? It has nothing to do with you. But you want to be like, yo, stop being a bully. Yeah, it's it's just sometimes too. It's just 
to let people know that you're there. There are times where I've inserted myself. It's just like if they say something about like just another woman who I'm just like, why are you doing that? Or your that? friend. Yeah. Right? Or let's, let's just... I'm like, yeah, have a seat, sis. Like, yeah. <laughs> like fall back. Like, no, 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 not coming for this Nubian. <laughs> you just let it be known. Yeah. And I keep it moving. But, you know, social social media is, it's, it's comedy, it's fun, it's thing, but it's not my real life. Once I realize it's like, I go outside, I have real friends. It's curated content. Like, my Instagram is curated content. It's right. not going to see my, like, when I'm hanging with my family, sure. and XYZ, it's just I'm living my real life and just understanding it's a difference between the two. I remember when people, it was like 50-50, people loved your photo shoot, mm -hmm. the sexy one, yeah. the really sexy one. Yeah. And then some were so upset that yeah. you were showing skin off. You looked fabulous. Thank you. I was like, good God. Yeah. I mean, I did it. Um, because I, you can. Yeah, right? I did it. I just I just wanted to. It's just we we put ourselves in these boxes. It's like, why do you have to do that? You're taking a step back. And da, 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 da. I said, listen, I'm not harming anybody. I took sexy photos <laughs> for a hair shoot. I loved it. It was fun. Right. I enjoyed it. And it quote unquote like you know, was doing something on the internet yeah. and created conversation. Oh, and I was like, I'm okay with it. Enjoy the conversation. Have fun. Like I dropped it and just went to sleep. And I was like, <laughs> bye guys. <laughs> and I woke up the next day to all these text messages. Yes. And I didn't care what it said. I just, thanks, heart, heart. And they're like, do you see what I said? I'm like, thank you for your opinion. I don't have to accept it, but right. I was going to do it regardless. <laughs> but I see it. I received it. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah. And I just... I just kept going about my way, but it was it was fun. I mean, mm. I I felt I felt spicy. It was spicy. <laughs> How were your DMs? Um, fun. Yeah, they were fun. <laughs> <laughs> um, people who were just it's interesting because you're like, oh, huh? I thought we were just friends. Wow, I didn't know you looked at me like that. Yeah, and and they're like, oh, I didn't know that was under there. I'm like underwear. Yeah, they're like yeah, I didn't know you had all of that. I'm like had all of what? So it's just. It's just nothing. It's hollow. Yeah. I, mean. <laughs> I just made it hard for them because I'm like, I don't know what you mean by that. But then people who don't even follow you like, hey, what's up? Or X, Y, Z. I'm like, how can I help you? Yes. How did you find your way here? <laughs> but then just some I just left on red. I'm like, no, 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 beloved. No. Yeah, no. A lot of, we were all talking. I was like, wow. Yeah. OK. I was yeah. so. Yeah, I just I'm sure the DMs were splendid. How is the love life nowadays? Um, I'm enjoying life. I'm taking time for myself. You know, I definitely, like, I had one public relationship mm -hmm. and that ended bad. But it's just, now I'm just kind of taking time for myself. I'm dating. I'm enjoying. But, you know, I'm just taking time for myself. Yeah. Like, yeah. Was that hard for you and how it all played out publicly? Yeah, it definitely was because it was just like, why are you piggybacking off another situation to try to make me look crazy and say all these things okay. and you know I'm not like I'm not people who know me know me know I'm not going to respond on social media I'm not that girl because it's curated content and it's just like I tell people all the time like I let God take care of my enemies mm. because I'm still going to continue to rise and accelerate and then it's like okay where well, you're in jail yeah no offense mm -hmm. but like you know but it was it was a sad unfortunate situation and you know they apologized they reached out Good. I'm, I'm happy to hear yeah. this yeah i i'm sure you've been around you know other interviewers and whatnot they like clickbait i'm not that kind of person yeah. i'm happy to hear the positive on this because life is short yeah you know and you want to see everybody do well yeah even if we don't see eye to eye yeah. right away but I, i'm glad that you guys all talked and no, yeah, things are things are things are really good. I just always get discouraged by people who do the disrespect in public but right. the apology in private. That's just something that I'm I'm like working on, but other than that, I'm like I'm okay. I don't I'm not moved by it again. This this small little thing doesn't stop my overall business right. or the companies I'm working with. Like they don't like certain things don't matter in that world. Right. Yeah. I'm happy to hear that, man. Yes. You know. Yeah. I'm, I it just maybe I'm just a I'm an optimistic person. And yeah, I believe that a conversation could happen and yeah. things can get worked out. And yeah. sometimes that conversation might be we never going to rock with each other. Yeah, sure. But I'm glad that got figured out. Yeah, it was bothering me. And I was yeah. just like, oh, 
beautiful. This is all messy. And, yes. You know. But now here mm-hmm. you are working on your show yes. and a bazillion different companies mm-hmm. and enjoying dating. Yes. But if we had to, let's say I, I want to bring a nice guy your way. Mm-hmm. What what kind of characteristics mean more to you now more so than in your past things that you've um, learned along the way when it comes to dating i love men who are able to come in and respect my accomplishments what mm, i've done that's tough yeah the ego is set aside they don't want to diminish your light they actually right. want to help brighten it mm-hmm. um well educated i'm able to have that dialogue of we can talk about uh sports but mm-hmm. then we can talk about what's happening on msnbc right um we could talk about different types of music they can he can educate me and just tell me like books i can read you know documentaries and things like that it's just somebody who's there to help you um become a better you mm-hmm. so it's just who's who's adding value to your life and not necessarily deducting from it. you yeah who's not Jeez. deducting from it like oh let me build him let me do this let right. me xyz and put all this energy into him and it's like i'm pouring into this cup but who's pouring into me mm. yeah that's powerful yeah that's tough yeah that just crossed out everyone i was like eh, going through it yeah no that's why you know i've been it's i've been tough. saying this i've been saying this all day and people's like karen that's a bar but there's a reason there's more hondas on the road than bentley's it's just <laughs> 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 it really is. It yeah really there's is. a reason right so it's just like it's it's you know to me it's about quality and not necessarily quantity i don't Oh, go out with this person. Go out. No, nope. I'm I'm cool. I'm, I'm just fine. take my time with. I'm gonna just take my time with it. It's okay. Yeah. I'd rather just watch a movie at home by myself. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. What if he? Do you prefer him in the industry or not in the industry? Um, any preference either way. You don't have to have. A no, preference. I don't necessarily have a preference. Okay. I meet people at different things. Um, but I don't like. I don't really have a preference. Right. You know, just. Uh, last person I met was at the supermarket. I like this. <laughs> Organic supermarket with two black people in the supermarket smiling at each other in the water aisle. Yeah. And it was like, oh, okay. Like so, this. yeah. So What's it up? happened there. So it's 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 that type of energy and vibe. Yeah. Would you be ready to get married if it was the right situation? Yeah, of course. It's just I'm at a place where I'm, I'm ready to have a family and, right. and do certain things and just move on to that next aspect of, of my life. Right. So if it comes when God, no, not if, when, when. it does come, when Absolutely. God brings it into my life, I'm going to accept it. Wow. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Can yes. you gotta find? Well, he will come. He will find mm-hmm. you. Well, you know what? You both will find each, each other. other. Yes. I, I yeah. I like that more than he will find you. Yeah. Or no, we will find each other, and we will we will be at that that happy medium place. Yeah. Do you believe at love at first sight? Do you believe that's possible? That is possible. You you know that's the first thing you see. I I do believe in that. Um, it definitely can happen. Well, yeah. This is good. And yes. you open up your DMs. Do you take them serious at all? No, I like read them. Some people like guys are like weird because I don't get the <laughs> they don't give me like they feel very intimidated. Right. So I don't get the hey, what's up? They're like, oh, that's a cool X, Y, Z. Where you get that from? Right. Oh, they're God. like, oh, those sneakers are cool. I'm like, these are gym shoes. But OK. Yeah. But then I I try to be like, oh, OK. LOL. Thanks. Yeah, and just yeah, just just be nice. I just do pink heart is my thing. Like. Yeah. That's my generic, I don't know what to respond to this question. So pink heart, there you go. Thank you. Yeah. Good but, day. But I do a lot of screening. Right. Oh, good. I screen, I look, I don't open, and I scroll and screen. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's me, scroll and screen like I'm TSA. <laughs> Just scroll and screen. <laughs> so I don't respond back, yeah, most of the time. Right now, who are you listening to? Curious. Ooh. You know what, I'm going to pick up my phone yeah. and I'm going to tell you what I've been Cause it's been a little bit of everything and I'm very everyone. Curious. Cause it's, it's yeah. Let's see what is my parents' playlist. Um, this is America, Childish Gambino. Of course. Um, the rendition of Luke James, "Dance with My Father." Oh. I love that record from the Star soundtrack. Um, I've been listening. To, oh, Division. Oh my gosh, is Morning After Project? Uh, yes. Everything and more. <laughs> um. Khaled, Six Black, On the Way with Ty Dollar. Um, 
Nikki. Yes, of course, Nikki, Nikki Chung Lee. Um, Max, Lights Down Low. It's just a little bit of Drake, obviously, Nice For What. And I love Hillsong Worship. Yeah. So I go to Hillsong. So I just I just listen to their music, too. This is yeah. a good selection. Yeah, I people, like this. People be in the car, I'll go from, like, Drake <laughs> to <laughs> Katy Perry. They're like, Karen, Karen, you got to stick to one. On <laughs> yeah, then I'll have, like, um, her name is, like, Janelle Carter. She is, like, a... Um, a I guess like a Baptist type church song is like you will win. And I can't remember, where is this going? <laughs> then I'll have like Ray. I always forget how to say their name. Um, Shummerd, Smummerd. Ray Shrimmerd. Ray Shrimmerd. There Ray we up. go. Then very they'll go talented. on to them. They're very and talented. they're like, uh, this playlist now. I'm like, listen, it one is. minute I want a little Jesus, one yeah. minute I want a little trap music. <laughs> I was like, you never know what LA traffic will do to you. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's right. You're there full time yes. in LA. Oh, I feel for you. Yeah. So mm. that traffic will have your just mind. Yeah, you're done. Everywhere. Yeah. You're done. Yeah. How was it working here at Hot 97 with Flex? Uh, give, give me something. So when he comes up <laughs> after me, I could I'd be like, yo, why you do that to Karen? Um, Flex was very interesting. Um, I will say him, him and Tat were super incredible. And of course, you know, Mr. C was great too. But they gave me a lot of uh, tips lessons like lessons learned and and flex i will always take away from him he was like you don't need to stand he's the one who taught me on early on like you don't need to stand next to everything you think is hot because i'm like oh flex why you don't do this interesting or, why you don't do that he's like nah i'm cool this is when like all the djs were collaborating which was nothing wrong with and standing together he was like i'm cool you it's okay to stand alone you don't always have to do what everybody else is doing i think you need to put your arm around everyone mm. build yourself up put pour into yourself like make yourself hot it's okay to stand alone and 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 i just i took that like yeah you're right i don't yeah you're right yeah, yeah let me go do this right. yeah look at like, me now yeah let me go do this <laughs> so i love flex for that you know he said just make sure that you know you you he didn't use these exact words but i just say pour into you make sure you focus make your craft good make yourself hot and just just continue to work on yourself of course yeah when you worked with wayne have mm -hmm. you guys talked have you kept in touch with Wayne? yeah i still talk to wayne i still talk to mac we still have a great relationship that's awesome yeah what was there any words of wisdom that you received when you were working with them oh um mac is is like very spiritual beloved mm. um praying and just what i love about them i like this. is is they really give you opportunity like companies, certain people say they want you to be like great, but you can go to them and they will back your idea. They will support you. They will do whatever. And it doesn't even have to be, it doesn't even have to be for money, whatever. They just want to see you succeed. Mm -hmm. And that's really where I'm just like, wow, from my, from my book to being at Beats, I like have to tip it all off to to Mac and Wayne for believing in me even with the launch of his headphones right. just, they just let me go crazy yeah <laughs> and, and they never works. just was like yeah they never were like okay you're doing you never got a you're doing too much which Ugh. is aka you're being too great like right no go be great go do everything go stand go get your notoriety get your attention do they just want to see you succeed and just be well into the world and it's not a lot of people like that and for them, I am, especially like Mac and, and Wayne, just, okay, here you go. What you need me to do? Whatever. So and it's just, it's, it's, it's incredible. Like, I, I, I love them too, especially Mac. If there was someone that you depend on the most day to day, mm -hmm. that you need their comfort or times are tough and you're just like, I can count on this person, who would that be? Uh, I, my tribe. Mm. Just my core circle of of friends that I call, you know, um, Christian, Lori, Ming, Amber. It's just like my tribe of people, my therapist. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, I'm and glad just, you say that. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, you know, for especially, you know, when it comes to us being young mm -hmm. women, women of color, it turns into, oh, you go to therapy? Yeah, they it's think a, something's there's wrong a with you. behind yeah. therapy. People think it's something wrong with it, and it's like, they don't people don't like to deal with sadness being an emotion but it's this is how i feel and it's getting behind why i feel like this i want to make sure i'm balancing myself and I'm, I'm giving myself the proper emotional support right so you know i do you know i'm i'm all I'm with my sage my chakra i love this and just my therapy just i go to my healings i, I take it very like 
I, you know, I, I pray to God. Like I, I take that very serious. Like I'm very spiritual and I just want to make sure mentally I'm okay to deal with a lot of things that are happening around me. For sure. Yeah. And if there was one company or a person that you mm -hmm. would love to work with, a dream collabo, a dream vision that you're just trying to manifest and really mm -hmm. this is your be all end all bucket list. It's three people. I okay. can't narrow it down. Okay, one. three. So Melody Hobson. Oh my I, God, she's yeah. phenomenal. I love her. I'm following her on Instagram. You know she don't post. Yeah. I'm just waiting. <laughs> I got my notifications set up. Like I love her to work with her in some capacity or space. Um, she is what you think she is. Yes. Um, yes. Of course, you always got to throw in the big O, Oprah, in of there. Um, and I love Ava DuVernay. Like I, she is what you think yes, she is. Yes, I love her. So we started following each other on Twitter. And oh I was my like, gosh. yes, oh my gosh. She Did you die? Me. Yes. I was like, she <laughs> followed me and I went to this Janelle Monet event and she was like, oh, you're Karen. I said, you know, you me. know me? I was like, you know me? She's like, hi, oh my gosh, thank you for your support. I was like, I want to be like, well, <laughs> of course. And it just, it was a moment just to just feel recognized and like, wow, she knows who I am. Yeah, those, yeah, great, those three great picks. Yes, that's my like top three, top three, top three. It's gonna just happen. everything. Yeah, it's gonna happen, and then you'll be too busy to stop in yeah. and say hi to us because you'll be out <laughs> here on the next jet flying off to wherever. Yeah, <laughs> I You're mean, like, I'm yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I'm speaking to fruition. I want it to happen it will. with these three ladies, but I'm always gonna have time to come by here. And you know, yeah. for me, the most important. There's many great things you do, but yeah. I love what you do in Haiti. Yes. Um, you know, I love people who care about yeah. other people more mm -hmm. than themselves. And just to see what you do out there is yeah. really, I don't know, gives me hope, especially when there's so much darkness yes. around us in this world, in our country. When, when and, you're bringing that yeah. light, and you right. know, you do philanthropy too. Right. And I just love the fact that people just think you can only do that. Right. And it's just, I loved when, you know, you started to do it and you were yeah. very active with and things. I was like, look, look at the conversation. She can go. Right. Do she's Help hosting kids, do and thing and right. then doing this. It's just it's it's so many different worlds and so many different facets to it. But uh, it's just just Haiti is just where my parents are from doing stuff with Brooklyn and we have our live civil day June 22nd in Elizabeth, New Jersey. Yeah. So it's it's like now all the places that mean a lot to me. Um, finally doing something in Los Angeles, which I'm really excited about with Leah Pump, which is the Lady Like Foundation, mm -hmm. um, raised a little bit of over eighty thousand dollars for. That's awesome. and and it's just a give back. So I'm just really excited to be connected to Haiti, Brooklyn, Jersey, and LA right wow. now. What yes. staples just everywhere. Yes. Everything that means so much to you everywhere. Mm -hmm. I want to go to Haiti. Karen, I yes. I love Haiti and I've never been. Oh, and we got to bring a, you. A lot to do with Mia, wherever Mia Bell, she's friends with Amber. Mm -hmm. um, but Mia is Haitian and I've always adored Haitians. Mm -hmm. I adore Haiti. I adore the history. I, yeah. I just adore everything. I just, I love strength. Mm -hmm. So anytime somebody is going back, I'm like, yo, when are you going? Let me know because I just think Haiti's so. Oh, yes. You're definitely coming next. Full of soul. Next influencer trip. It's yeah, just, let you, me know. You go into the community, but at the same time, um, it's also a vacation. Yeah. So you can see, like, you don't just, like, I went to Haiti a, a couple weeks ago, mm -hmm. like, maybe a couple months, and be like, oh, what are you in Haiti? You're doing work. I was like, no, I'm on vacation. They're like, oh. I'm like, yes, you can vacation here, too. There's property. I want to go. There's beaches. There's things. Yes. So next influencer trip, Please definitely going to have know. you there. Yes. Or just tell me where to go, because you know what? I'd rather spend my money in Haiti. Yeah. I'm going to be 100 with you, and yes. I'd rather go out there. I mean, I just... I love it. Yeah, you're, you're literally going to love, like, you're doing yoga in the middle of the oh, ocean, yes. like at Wahoo Bay, and, and it's just like the speedboat, the food is like fresh from the oh ocean. Oh, my God. And it's like you see them coming in like, oh, lobster will be ready in a little bit. You're like, <laughs> that's my dinner? That's just, dinner. Yes. Do you ever wonder why am I back in America at times where you're just like? Um, definitely. I mean, when I go to Haiti, when I, I, I recently went to, Bermuda yeah and I did not want to leave I was like oh my gosh they're like they catch their water is like fresh right like their waters like I was like okay how do you do your bottled water like where is it from they're like oh it's rain I said what <laughs> 
I'm drinking God's tears. <laughs> What's happening yes. here? And then their beach was pink and it's like illegal to bring back. I was like, oh, no, 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 no. I need to bring this sand back. I could go to jail for this. Like, I need people to see. Like, at home, I'm like, look at this pink sand. It's, it's real. It was so beautiful and peaceful and just, I just didn't want to go. That's was, when the guy and you find each other. Mm -hmm. It'd be a good trip. Oh, yeah. That's what we're going with, like. We're going to Bermuda. Yeah. yeah. We're going to Haiti. We're going to Wahoo. Yes. yes. We're, like, we're going to take these trips. Oh, man. Yes. I could talk to you all day. I know you out here working. Yeah. Karen, thank you for stopping by and congratulations on your new show on Complex. Good thank looking you. out. Yes. And 11 a.m. on Wednesday. Wednesdays, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on Complex. Wonderful. Thank yes. you so much, Karen. Thank you for having me. Of course.